What's up everybody, Geodug Trio here. Today I'm going to be highlighting the top 5 most valuable Pokemon cards that were released in 2021. Uh, this data is taken from eBay, Trollandtoad.com, and TCG Player as a combined average of sale prices as of January of 2022. So this is an interesting list. Um, I know it's changed as 2021 went on based on pull rates and reprints, uh, as well as just sets overall coming down in price. So this is probably a little bit different from the list you may have seen from earlier in 2021. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off the list at number five, we have the Mew VMAX alternate art. This is from Fusion Strike. And this card is combined worth about $115 as of right now. Um, this is one of the most sought after cards in Fusion Strike, uh, obviously based on the detailed artwork and the popularity of Mew in general. Uh, so this card is certainly um, worth having, uh, gonna be probably a great investment as well if I had to guess, just based on popularity. And considering this is now at around $115, um, I would certainly expect this price to continue up into 2022. At number four, we have the Espeon VMAX Alternate Art. And this is also from Fusion Strike. But for those of you who don't know, this was supposed to be a card released as part of Evolving Skies. It actually was released in the Japanese version of Evolving Skies. Um, but this was taken out of the English version and then later released as part of Fusion Strike. So this is actually the top Fusion Strike card featured in this video. Um, you can see from the artwork, uh, just really awesome to look at. And this is currently coming in at around $123 on average. So again, another card that will probably continue to increase in 2022 and certainly one that is sought after just based on the awesome artwork as well. Coming in at number three, we have the Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates. This is another awesome looking card and believe it or not, this was only one of two Charizard cards that were released in 2021. The second Charizard card that was released was in Celebrations, which was the reprint of the base set Charizard from 1999. Uh, that card was selling for around $85 as of right now. Uh, so again, it's a little outside of making the top five list for this video. However, the Charizard VMAX card from Shining Fates is currently selling at around $128. So that locks it in for a third place. Um, it is a really awesome looking card. And of course, the popularity of Charizard seems to always be very high. So I would certainly expect this card again to continue to increase in value. Coming in at the number two spot of this list, we have the Rayquaza VMAX alternate art card from Evolving Skies. And this is a really awesome looking card. Um, certainly Rayquaza is another super popular Pokemon. Evolving Skies was considered to be by many the best set in 2021. And so it's no surprise that this card makes the number two spot in this list. What's really interesting about this card is that when it first debuted in August, it actually had a sale price of around $390. So of all five cards on this list, it's actually the one that has dropped the most since it first debuted as far as prices go. However, prices have seemed to have stabilized this year. So I would expect that at some point, maybe even within the next year, we see this card get back to that $390 mark that it first debuted at. And coming in at the number one spot, we have the Umbreon VMAX alternate art card from Evolving Skies. Um, this card really is not a surprise to me. I mean, Evolving Skies, again, was considered by many to be the best set in 2021, um, featured so many amazing alternate art cards, and really uh, the set itself just brought so much fun and popularity back with the evolutions. So it's really not a surprise to see that this card has just gained in popularity as 2021 has gone on. 
and it is currently um, selling for around $175. So again, it does earn the top value for this list. And just like the other four cards on this list, I would certainly expect this card to keep going up in value as time goes on. Um, so again, you know, it's gonna be interesting just to see kind of what happens with the value of these five cards, as well as the other cards that are certainly popular uh, from the sets released in 2021 that did not make the top five, but certainly would have served as honorable mentions in this video. So guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave me a like. I'm planning on doing more videos like this to kind of showcase the value of Pokemon cards in general um, and to also help those of you that buy and sell and like to keep up with market prices. So please be sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this and I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video.